Premier Uno is a premium quality pre-blended Portland cement based material that has been specifically formulated to allow the simultaneous application of scratch and brown base coats. It's a proprietary formulation of Portland cement hydrated lime and graded aggregates and specific additives. This pre-blended product assures consistency from batch to batch because all that is added is the, is the correct amount of potable water which also means your batch times takes less time to mix. For our demonstration we're going to mix Uno in a five gallon pail but whether with a drill mixer or in a conventional plaster mixer Uno should be mixed from three to five minutes. Do not over mix. That's the very good consistency. We're going to go over a block wall so we know we've got a good mud that's going to hang for us and that's exactly what we're looking at. Got it at that consistency, she's ready to go. You're going to find that as you're mixing it's not going to take that much water. Again here we use probably just a hair shy of a gallon for a 50 pound bag. The 50 pound bag again will get you one square yard which is nine square feet. What we've done for our demonstration we're basically going to be doing about two yards. We start at the top. All we want to do is get it into place and hog it on as they say. Just come to full thickness. What you don't want to do is you don't want to overwork the material. Like you don't want to over mix, you don't want to overwork it either. You just want to put it in place. We'll tuck it in the end, get our thickness where we want it. Then we're going to come back and we're going to end up just uh, knocking it down with a rod or a dart. Yeah, the key to Uno is uh, again is put it in place and try to minimize how many passes that we do here. We do it here now after we've placed our uh, scratch and brown again in one application monolithically. We'll let this take up and uh, come back on it. We'll put a clock on it, but approximately 45 minutes. Today's temperature is probably around oh, a little over 70 degrees, and it's a beautiful day. That's obviously the plaster. But at the same time, uh, again, irregardless of whether it's that and or a colder temp, normally you're looking at about 45 minutes that time, you come back on it and trim it out. It's a good time right now to shave it down. It gives you an ample time without working too hard to be able to level it out and get it right to perfection. If we let it take up too much and get too dry, then it'd be difficult to, uh, to do start really scraping it and you're actually working yourself too hard. Right now you catch it a good time, that mud's real, real uh, cooperative and you're able to shave it down and get it right to where it has to go. You want to fill in some voids, just take a little mud and put them right back into place. For the first part of the demonstration, we showed the ease of going over a block wall and now over to a conventional application over standard lath on a commercial project. Uno can be applied over any conventional lath, be it self-furred wire, metal lath, big mesh, 1 inch 20, stucco right. As over the block wall, we're going to start again with a stiff consistency and what we're going to do is we're just going to hog it on and get it in place and we're going to come back over it and knock it down with a rod. As you're seeing in these two common applications, masonry and conventional lath, both are being demonstrated by hand application.
Please note that for production purposes though, they both could be done by pump application. After he's hogged it on and now we've come back and rotted it off, we're going to be waiting about 45 minutes and now we come back and start trimming it. You can either do it with the edge of our rod and or the edge of our, uh, of our trowel, depending on the matter of preference. And uh, he checks the screed just to make sure that we're all, all the nooks and crannies are filled. And pretty much we've got a straight, consistent wall, perfect for color code application or finish application. Like conventional plaster, we want to avoid applications in freezing conditions and conversely in extremely hot conditions. Good sound judgment must always prevail. Important points to keep in mind about UNO. No special lath required. Labor savings due to monolithic placement of scratch and brown. Conforms to UBC section 2508.5. Consistently blended materials from start to finish of the job creating an overall better quality job for the contractor to the building owner.